Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry and outreach, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message today is titled, Are You Too Busy? I will be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11, and it reads, That Satan might not outwit us. My beloved, Satan gave a speech to his demons, and he told them, Look, as long as Christians stay close to God, we can't have power over them. So he gave them a list of 12 things to do to keep Christians occupied with other things. One is keep them busy with non-essentials. Two, tempt them to overspend and go into debt. Three, make them work long hours to maintain empty lifestyles. Four, discourage them from spending family time. For when homes disintegrate, there's no refuge from work. Five, overstimulate their minds with television, movies, games, and computers so that they can't hear God speaking to them. Six, fill their coffee tables and nightstands with newspapers, detective magazines, Hollywood magazines, so they have no time for Bible study, for Bible reading, or for talking about God. Seven, flood their mailboxes with sweepstakes, promotions, and get rich schemes. In other words, keep them chasing materialistic things. Eight, put glamorous models on TV and on magazine covers to keep them focused on outward appearances. That way, they'll be dissatisfied with themselves and their spouses. Nine, make sure couples are too exhausted for physical intimacy. That way, they'll be tempted to look elsewhere. Ten, emphasize Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. That way, you will divert them from the real meaning of these two holidays. Eleven, involve them in good causes so they won't have any time for eternal ones. And twelve, make them self-sufficient. Keep them so busy working in their own strength that they'll never know the joy of God's power working through them. Do these 12 things faithfully, and I promise it will work. So my beloved, a question. Have you figured out the difference between being busy and being successful in what God has called you to do? My beloved, sometimes being busy just means being under Satan's yoke, and that yoke is bondage to what he wants you to do instead of what God has called you to do. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for this message. We all entertain some of these 12 examples. A lot of times we're too busy with things that don't matter. We overstimulate our minds with computers and tablets and other things. We over shop. We continue to buy things that we don't need. And when it comes to doing things, we try to do things in our own strength and in our own knowledge instead of seeking you for your strength and your wisdom. Father God, help us to do what is right in your eyes. Show us the things that are essential in this life and the things that are not essential. Thank you for your word today. And we praise you and thank you as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, relax. Have peace. Walk in victory through the study of God's word in prayer. That way, you will know what God has for you to accomplish for his praise and glory. God bless you and go with God.